What up YouTubers, YouTubeettes? So, today what I'm doing is I'm getting Platinum Group Metals out of some old filters that I had. Um, so now these filters are from filtering Platinum Group Metals from catalytic converters. Um, and so from the end result, and uh, so inevitably some metals get stuck in the filters you just can't get out without burning it out. Well, I had a lot and so I chose not to burn it out but to start the process back over basically. So what I've done so far to get to this stage is I put about 500 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in there, about a thousand milliliters of distilled water, and then um, uh, maybe a tablespoon of uh, um, calcium hypochlorite. And um, so basically, what that does is the uh, um, Calcium hypochlorite base, um, is the oxidizer for the muriatic acid, and so then it can leach out the platinum group metals and dissolve them. And so now um, I did that, put them in here, and I've had it in here for, I don't know, a few hours now at this point. And um, you can see the color I've got is a real nice deep red, um, which is a good thing. That means there's a lot in there. And... Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sodium carbonate to knock some of the pH out. And then um, I'm going to add a little bit of water, maybe half a gallon or so. And then I'm going to start adding in, and then I'm going to take all these filters out and then wring them out. And then I'm going to start adding in zinc metal, and that will cement out the platinum group metals. Um, so let me, anyways, let me get these filters out of here and I'll show you what's up. Alright, so I changed my mind. So what I did was I grabbed the filters out and threw them in here, and then I put just straight water in here, and now I'm just kind of mushing these into the water, trying to get them to let any of the metals, that, or the liquids that they still have in there out. And you see, I mean, from distilled water to turn to that color is pretty good. Good idea, I've decided to do it this way. And so then, I'm going to put this water into here. got to be on the bottom. <sighs> so now I'm going to add some of this, which is nat. If I can get the dang container open. Oh, come on. All right, stupid container. All right, so now I'm going to let this settle out, and then I'm going to start adding some zinc. So I'll be right back at that point. So I just put my zinc metal in here, and um, so you can see it's kind of got a reaction going. And um, so one thing to think about when you do your sodium carbonate is you don't want to add so much sodium carbonate that it takes away all the acids, because you need acids to dissolve zinc to dis so that way the zinc and the platinum group metals can switch places. So just keep that in mind when you do add your sodium carbonate, not to add too much, but you still want to add enough because the um, the more acid that's left, the more zinc that you have to dissolve, and the more zinc you dissolve, the smaller your pieces of metal that will come out of solution will be. At least I believe that's how it works. Alright, so the zinc is reacted to where basically has no reaction left, and so now if you leave your zinc in there until you have no reaction, so then odds have it you're going to have zinc in with your other metals in there. So now hydrochloric acid dissolves zinc, and so then 
your other metals are in metal form at this point in your bucket or whatever tr container you're using. So put a little bit of hydrochloric acid in there and then um, that will eat away any zinc that's still remaining in there and then filter it. Since I still have reaction when I put my zinc into the liquid, um, I know that I don't have zinc in solution or um, zinc metal in, in, in there. And so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and filter it and then as a, as a, as a wash, I'm going to um, put my filter, when I get filtered out, in hydrochloric acid anyways and then filter it again after that. But if, if you put hydrochloric acid in this bath, that can negate having to do that if you choose to or whatever. But so anyways, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and start filtering this and I'll be right back. Alright, so um, this is me filtering it. So I see I got the stir rod in here. And so what that's for is so this funnel um, fits that jug rather well and so it doesn't let air out and so for every drop in air has to come out for space and so this is basically a way for me to let air burp out and then um, when you're filtering stuff you want as many um, ripples or ridges or whatever in the filter as possible because the more surface area that filters the better because they'll be faster to where if the filter is just sitting flat against the funnel's plastic then that paper's not doing anything as far as funneling it's just sitting there and so the more surface area that the liquid can get through the better for funneling and so then if you look in here give this a swirl you can see I got all kinds of good metals down in there that's pretty awesome looks like a probably a quarter ounce or so which is pretty good considering most of this will be platinum and palladium which both of those are over a thousand dollars an ounce and so on the low end that's more than 250 bucks so anyways um yeah whenever uh, I get done filtering I'll show you what I'm gonna do from there alright down to my last filter run and uh Here's what the other two filters I took out look like. They're pretty packed, or caked rather. Yeah, yeah. This looks like a pretty successful run. Um, once this is done, I'll get them out and dry them, and I'll report back. Alright, there's my three filters. That's the one definitely that has the big cake in it. But, yeah, not too bad for cleaning out of filters. Well, there's what I got. It's, it's like 2.9 grams, so decent amount, especially just for cleaning out filters. But anyways, um, in total I got about 24 grams from this run of um, five and a half uh, catalytic converters, and I still have one more filtration to clean up, but um, it, the coloring is pretty light, so it won't have a whole lot left to it. But uh, yeah, so anyways, until next time guys.